Hey there, Timinator Toolman. So, I went to Harbor Freight the other day to uh, grab some snips, and this is what I came out of the store with. I was very, very pleased with my with my purchase, and I'm not sponsored by Harbor Freight or anything like that. Uh, they're not telling me what to say, but I I needed some snips to cut some. T grid working on a, uh, a, a acoustic ceiling grid at a commercial property. Hey there, Timinator the Toolman back at you. I'm on my lunch hour, and today I went over to Harbor Freight because I needed to cut some of this uh, ceiling tile. I've been doing these uh, ceiling tiles at uh, the commercial property for my work. And I went over to Harbor Freight to get me a, a new set of snips. And I was surprisingly pleased with these. Uh, I think they were like seven or eight bucks each pair. I bought them. You can buy them like in a three pack. Uh, I think they call them aviation snips or something like that. Uh, these are the Pittsburgh brand. And I bought an offset uh, pair in a straight set and I use these to cut this uh, ceiling uh, grid tile grid and it was really really fairly easy to cut and you can see it cut right through it and this stuff is uh, typically this stuff is kind of a booger to get through with some different kind of snips and you can see that I actually went right through it so um, it was easy to do whatever I needed. Uh, and if I need to cut this, they're, they're, uh, really, they can actually make a really nice cut. And if you can see that, I'm going to try to set this up here and do it one handed. But it just makes a really nice cut. And, uh, both of them pretty much work the same way. I just wanted to share with you guys. And uh, even the uh, offset cuts this like stuff this like butter. I hardly have to uh, push it all. Watch this. This is pretty cool. And they both both of them spring back open, so they have the springs, which I like. And then it's got a really close tolerance um, bite on it. You can actually feel the snips, the metal uh, connecting with each other on these, which is pretty nice. Um, and I have a another set of snips that are older, like, and I'll I'll try to do the same thing with with those and and see. But these are a lot easier to the other snips are kind of the straight straight version uh, anyway I was just kind of uh, pleased with these and uh, the price you can't beat the price you know typical uh, Harbor Freight stuff and then see if you got a little deal you can put a lanyard on here if you're up high working up high which is pretty nice uh, my other set does not have that and I do actually have a lanyard um, I occasionally work up in uh, in a boom lift so if I ever have to use these up there that'd be pretty nice so I don't drop them uh, just wanted to share that with you guys and gals and uh, I'm kind of really pleased with these I didn't honestly I didn't think they were gonna be that great but uh, turn out, turned out pretty nice so if you're on the fence about buying these they're great for any job like this and this stuff is you know double double in there the, the the side isn't too too much of a, a issue it's usually this other stuff to cut through and it cut through it pretty well so i just want to share with, with you guys if you're getting great value on my channel if you wouldn't mind going down there hitting the like and subscribe button i really do appreciate it and and i was trying to find my oh, oh i have an older set of snips um that uh that i normally would use for that and i couldn't find them so so it was my second trip in a week uh went over there and bought some 
bought some scrapers and so I found these over there and I think one pair was like seven dollars and the other pair was like eight dollars I believe they call these uh, aviation snips correct me if I'm wrong shoot me a comment let me know but uh, these worked really really well with cutting that uh, t-grid for a, uh, a drop ceiling or acoustic ceiling or whatever you want to call it but uh, this kind of just shows you you don't have to spend a lot of money to to get the job done uh, Harbor Freight's really kind of stepped up their game. I don't buy a whole lot of stuff at Harbor Freight, uh, but maybe I should, because um, like I said, this these are decent and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Just the, I don't know if you can hear this, but just the, uh, the, the blades touching each other here, there's a very, very close tolerance in there that makes your cut really, really good and uh i took some video at that property so i'll add this add that video uh probably in here right now and then then uh you know i i actually tested both of these out on that t-grid which i think is somewhere around uh 16 14 um gauge you know metal uh t-grid so it's it, sometimes that stuff can be a little challenging but these are really made really well and they have like these uh, Teflon uh, nuts that hold the hold them together. I've seen a couple other pairs that you had to uh, tighten these in the older style, but these are really well. They're both uh, both spring loaded, which is pretty nice. They'll open up by themselves, and uh, see if I, if I let go, it'll actually pop open, which is pretty nice. It's a nice feature on both of these. So I just wanted to share that with you. It's, I know this is probably a real quick video compared to most, but I just wanted to share that with you and, uh, you know, let you know there is still some decent deals out there. If you're, uh, you know, doing some uh, metal fabrication, stuff like that, I think, you know, like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of money to, to get the job done. So, again, I just want to share that with you. I hope you uh, are having a great day and just a real quick video if you're getting good value on my channel i appreciate if you go down there hit the like and subscribe button and uh hit the bell icon you'll get notified when i post a new video and this is tim and Dave, the tool man back at you